Hey guys, this video is going to be about how to watch a speedrunning stream. I've wanted to make this video for a while because I think there's a lot of people who want to watch speedrunning, but aren't speedrunners themselves and maybe have never run a game or don't even have a desire to, and that's perfectly fine. But sometimes speedrunners will assume knowledge that you don't have, and I think if you're looking for a place to start, this might be the video for you. So I want to go over some things that you might want to know when you click on a stream, and kind of how to navigate this and have positive interactions without anyone thinking you're a troll or something like that. So I'm going to go over to a screen cap of a ZFG stream, a Zelda runner, and one of the most popular streamers out there in terms of speedrunning. This is a no source requirement 100% speedrun, and this is pretty much breaking, broken down into a few components. On the right is his gameplay. A lot of retro speedruns have this kind of layout since it's a 4x3 game. You have the gameplay on the right, you have splits and info on the left on the top left he actually has a video so you can visually compare the current run to his pb run these rows of text light arrows forest temple gold skultulas these are all splits these splits are just segments that we use to break up our run to see how it's going and to kind of have checkpoints to compare against on the bottom, he has an input display. Not everyone will have one of these, but it lets you see the inputs he's making in real time, which is kind of cool, especially if you're trying to see how something is done if you're trying to learn it yourself. Now I'm going to open up Live Split because a lot of people will have a kind of condensed version. He actually has quite a bit of info, but I'm going to kind of show you pretty much everything that you could put on it. So this is an example, 70 star speed run. I've got four splits done, I'm 10 minutes into the run, and I've got quite a bit of info here already. First thing, when you look at live split, you want to check the current game category and comparison. So game and category might also be in the title as well. Always read the title when you click so you know what's going on. Then comparing against personal best. This is what you'll see most commonly, but it doesn't have to be. You can compare against all sorts of things. Latest run. Average segments, best split times, best segments, even your own splits that you make up for whatever reason. Now let's look at the splits themselves. I've actually added a second column here. This one's a bit less common, but this one is each segment time. So overall time here, segment time here. In this case, I got a bit ahead in the early game out of Womps and then kind of fell back to about even at a dark world. If you look down here, these two numbers refer to dark world because it's my previous segment. This blue bar, Cool Cool Mountain CCM is what I'm currently on. So dark world, I saved two seconds, minus 1.9, and I still lost eight seconds to my gold split, my, per my best ever dark world. So what this means is that with the personal best splits, this number really only reflects how you compare to personal best. It doesn't say anything about whether the split was good or not. Unless, like, you can look here and see that it was pretty close to the best. So, I would kind of take these numbers with a grain of salt because the more relevant information is, like, kind of how well you play to your best because time save varies in each segment because your PB might do really well in one area and really poorly in another. So it's pretty common to see someone have like a run that's behind by a little bit, but it'd still be a very good run, just their beginning was insane. And that's kind of how a lot of speedrunners will go for attempts anyway. So just a bit of heads up about that. I also want to touch on some of best. I mentioned this before, but this sum of best here is if you took the best you've ever done each segment and added them all together. So live split tracks each time you get on every segment. And when you set a new best one, it kind of inserts it into this pool. And with this, you can kind of see your potential or like your ideal situation. What this is kind of relevant for in a run is when you're part way through, let's go back to personal best comparison. I might be about tied with PB, but best possible time is about 30 seconds worse. That means in this part of the run so far, I've lost 30 seconds to my sum of best. That means I could have been a lot better, 
or maybe if it's like a very high RNG run, maybe there's like a lot of like weird stuff that's gone on. This is not bad at all. If I'm farther into the run, if I'm like 30 minutes, I've only lost 30 seconds. That's pretty sick, right? So there's a lot to look at here, but best possible time is kind of a nice way to look at where the run's headed as in terms in terms of trajectory. But this really varies for every game and category. You can't really tell how close someone can play to their best possible time. And the last thing I want to talk about is how to just be a reasonable person in chat. Because sometimes speedrunners can be short tempered, especially if they've lost a good run, they're just not playing well, other things in their life aren't so great. So like, you just want to be curious as a rule of thumb, but I've got a few other guidelines that'll kind of help you avoid being in like a weird situation because you don't understand what's going on. So, biggest thing I, I would say is that if you're not a runner of the game, don't claim to speak for someone who does. I think this is kind of something that a lot of runners could get annoyed with if you're like trying to speak on something you don't have any qualifications to. And in a lot of games where something is really difficult or like very complex, it's not really apparent to the viewer exactly how it works. They'd be happy to explain it most of the time. But if you kind of act like, why did you miss that? You know, it's kind of like hostile. People don't really like that. I would say avoid that if you can. And just kind of generally blatantly criticizing someone's gameplay. It's not like they try to play bad. <laughs> Everyone's trying to PB and have fun, hopefully. So just got to be a little bit more considerate if that is the case. Like someone like really shouldn't make that mistake. Usually don't have to say it anyway. Like even a well-known respected runner will still get some flack for just saying something careless like that really didn't need to be said because obviously everyone knows it themselves no one is going to be a harsher critic than yourself so i just kind of keep that open mindset when you're looking at other people doing their runs and know that everyone's different everyone has different amounts of playtime experience kind of improvement rate you know so comparing them to someone else doesn't really do them any favors and they probably already know it in their head and it's like kind of let them do that work for themselves so basically as a summary just try to be a respectful person don't make any assumptions on things that you don't really know about you should always try to read the stream when you open it up check the title check the live split any other things on stream that you can see and also remember that People are usually open to answering questions. You can ask, also check speedrun.com. You can check the world records for categories. You can check th each runner, like where their PB is, where it stacks up, all these other kind of things. And you can also just like see what the vibe is from other people in chat, whether it's like, you know, a little bit like too uptight or like everyone just like says whatever they want to say and the streamer's really cool about it. Or sometimes it's like way too far. People are just being like, ridiculously unreasonable trolls but you kind of have to get a feel for it and i guess in conclusion i hope this kind of helps you and know that first of all watching a speedrun stream might not be the best use of your time kind of got to throw that out there but if you do hope you kind of know how to work with it a little bit better now and have some fun get a good experience maybe even try to start running a game yourself there's always so many community community resources i think Everyone who loves running their game wants to get other people into it too. So they'll direct you to discords, you know, guides, all these kind of things. So just ask around. And I think that having that kind of curiosity without judgment is kind of the best way to go around in a speedrunning stream. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll be back for more. And thank you very much for watching.